What's going on everybody? Rebel here bringing you some Black Ops 2 free-for-all gameplay and this time here I'm using my combat knife and combat axe. I always want to say tomahawk but it's a tom combat axe but I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is my first time playing free-for-all doing knifing and combat axing or tomahawking. <laughs> Not sure what I want to call it yet. So anyway yeah I figured I'd hop in some free-for-all and that's something I really play a I don't play free for all that often. I normally stick to uh, domination. Seems to be my my favorite game of choice. That and uh, kill confirmed. So I love to use my combat axe slash tomahawk uh, in the first Black Ops. I used it all the time, but uh, this one here, the second one, it's a little different. I find it a little harder to use just because I was so used to the original Black Ops. Uh, when you actually threw your tomahawk, you could see it travel. Uh, I, I This game here, I think it travels a little faster. So that takes some getting used to, but it's a lot of fun to use. I have a lot of fails in this game though. But uh, trying to get my timing down, trying to get it back. I've been using the crossbow like crazy. Uh, it's, I was checking to see how, how my weapons were, and, and uh, the crossbow was actually uh, my number one weapon. I had like 658 kills or something like that so i decided to change it up try to unlock some camos for my combat knife and i'm not sure what i actually like better uh the combat knife or the ballistic knife i did unlock the ballistic knife during the uh, first part of the ranking and i just uh, i prestige not too long ago but i didn't take it with me and there's quite a bit of differences uh, between the two I uh, found with the combat knife, sometimes you would have some, uh, well, you seem to ha have a lot of lunge fails. It seems to happen more often than not. But with the ballistic knife, when you do get that lunge, uh, it seems to be a little more consistent. But the only thing I don't like about it is it, it seems to slow you down just because the uh, animation is a, a bit more dramatic, I guess. And uh, so I'm not really sure which one I like the best. I think I need to use the ballistic knife more and uh, see how it goes and obviously use my tomahawk more to get my timing down a little better but I had a great time playing free-for-all I'm probably gonna play it a little more often uh, using this setup I do have a couple of more games that I'll be making videos for so uh, be on the lookout for that and what do you guys uh, you know what do you guys think have you tried the knifing yet have you tried tomahawking what are your thoughts on it you know I know there's a it's quite a big uh, community, the knifing community, and uh, by no means am I a uh, uh, beast at it. <laughs> but I'm will willing to put forth the effort to try to get better. Like I said, I've been playing with the with the crossbow so much that uh, that uh, I've, there's still a lot of guns in the game I haven't used, and uh, I prefer to I prefer this style. I mean, you, the SMGs and the assault rifles, uh, they're great weapons, but uh, for me, it, it just gets kind of boring. <laughs> I don't have as much fun with it. You know, I'd rather use something like I find when you use a combat axe, it takes a lot more, uh, a lot more skill to use it. Uh, you have to account for the lob and uh, you know aiming, aiming in front of, in front of your uh, enemies to hit them when they're moving. So I kind of like that challenge of it a little better. Uh, uh, these guys I was playing here, they were, uh, they were getting a little frustrated uh, on the mic. <laughs> they might have had a few choice words for me, but you know that's okay play the game the way I like it. <laughs> I don't worry about what other what other people say. They just kind of butt hurt about getting Tomahawk. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this game is getting pretty close to the end. Uh, I tried to go, I tried to get on a good night streak, but it, it just didn't seem to happen. You know, I'd unlock my UAV and I think I unlocked the, uh, the drone for my score streaks and that was about it. I couldn't get to the Hellfire, but uh, no big deal. And I love catching people in their reloads. <laughs> if you're able to dodge them and they get caught in a reload, for some reason they, they never switch to the secondary. They just uh, try to reload and uh, by then it's uh, a little too late. And one thing about the with the combat knife, uh, one thing I had issues with was knifing people when they're prone. Uh, so many times I'd step over them and, and go for the knife and it wouldn't even do anything. It, it would take two or three swings to actually hit them. So. Yeah, it's definitely not as consistent as the other Call of Duties. Uh, it's too bad. I'm not sure if they did that intentionally. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they did do it intentionally, just to uh, to make it a bit harder and and uh, so people wouldn't get too frustrated with it. Possibly, or it could just be 
the mechanics of the game. Uh, who knows? I guess the uh, developers are the only ones that actually do know. <laughs> So like I said, I'll, I'm going to be bringing a couple more free-for-all games. I hope you guys enjoy them. Some more sniping on my channel. Uh, I know I've been putting up a lot of Black Ops lately. And uh, next week with uh, Battlefield Aftermath DLC coming out, I'll be doing more videos on that. Uh, I haven't played Battlefield in quite a while, but uh, be on the lookout for that too. And I've got quite a few uh, new subscribers. I'd like to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I hope you're enjoying the content. And... That's it for me, guys. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll don't forget to comment, rate, or subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.